Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metro 2033 Redux. When last we left off we were sneaking through the tunnels after the Reich is captured. Um, the base that we're trying to get to and we're sneaking our way around them and possibly killing them as we go. Take off my gas mask. It looks like I need to get a new one because mine's looking pretty banged up right now. Uh, he has nothing I particularly want. Right. Oh, hello. Yeah. Nothing all that special. Is he a bad guy? He's a bad guy. He's a dead guy. We've got around there. Well, at least now that I know that the lighter can burn cobwebs, that's certainly going to make a few things a bit easier, isn't it? You ever hear the stories about Metro Food and the Invisible Watchers? No. You've heard of Ragnarok, the last battle of the gods? Well, Metro 2 is the place where the gods of the Soviet pantheon will take shelter, if the forces of evil prevail. The legends say Metro 2 lies hidden beneath this one. Ours is the Metro for the sheep, and the Metro 2 is for the shepherds and their dogs. Once upon a time, the shepherds ruled the herd for them. But later, their strength weakened. And their sheep were dispersed in many directions. A single gate joined these two worlds at a place which now splits the map with a red scar. But something happened, and the gate to Metro 2 was shut down forever. Those living here forgot about Metro 2, and it became a thing of myth. But though we are no longer aware of Metro 2, it does exist. It is all around us. Its tunnels entwined with our own. Its stations behind the walls of our stations. The two metros are inseparable. And those who believe that the shepherds could not abandon their herd say that they watch over us still, directing our every step. But do not show themselves to us. And that is what faith in the invisible watchers is. But why they do not wish people to know about them? They see me, I wonder. Find me so easy, son. But now I've kicked them off. I might as well do them in. Attention! We got company. It is. Uh, 
It is before I went back. And we'll take all of those. me back here, so I'm going to have to go back. Ah. Open up. Take that. Let's try this again. Anything in there? No. Ah, yes, got these to open up. Right, moving forward. We know there's nothing in the toilets. He's having a nap. Permanently. You ever hear the stories about Metro 2 and the Invisible Watchers? No. No part of Ragnarok, the last battle of the gods. Well, Metro 2 is the place where the gods of the Soviet pantheon will take shelter, if the forces of evil prevail. The legends say Metro 2 lies hidden beneath this one. Ours is the Metro for the sheep, and the Metro 2 is for the shepherds Ooh. and their dogs. Once I managed to sneak through there. But later, their strength weakened. And their sheep were dispersed in many directions. A single gate joined these two worlds at a place which now splits the map with the red star. But something happened, and the gate to Metro you know, 2 was shut down. I'm just going to leave those guys to it. Down here, then. I'll assume then that that's the way I need to go. Maybe I can kill these guys then. And those who believe that the shepherds could not abandon their herd say that they watch over us still, directing our every step. I'm not sure it was used to us. And that is what faith in the invisible watchers is. But why they do not wish people to know about that? First of all, the sheep are sick, for they turned down their shepherds in a time of weakness. Ever since Metro 2 was separated from our world, the shepherds have evolved in a different way. They are no longer human, but creatures of a higher order. This logic is not understandable for us. They have the power to change everything, even to return the lost people to the world of us. But because we rebel against them, they do not take part in our destiny anymore. <sighs> However, they exist everywhere. You do drivel on, don't you, buddy? Who's there? Looks like this. He's dead! Alarm! Alarm! Get the commies! Now, Get down! Done for Fight all people! Ooh. Right. I'm gonna get 
get you for this. And there we have it. Right, now that they're all dead, and I have a gun with some disgusting accuracy. you up. No, can't even take your ammo. <sighs> Wrong button. <sighs> mm, nothing. Wait, can I open the door here? Is there a door to open? No. Right, let's have a good look around here. Oh, hello. Oh, pistol rounds. I need those. Oh. What have we got up here then? Yes, thank you. Nope. Can't give up my silence pistol. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. Sorry about this, guys. And nothing. Ah, that's where I killed those chaps. Well, oh, good stuff. It was mildly worth killing these guys then. Right. Into the hole I go. Uh. At least got some more filters. I do need a new gas mask. Well, that's a bit nasty. Uh, what are we looking at here? Do me any favours? Oh. And how much of the tunnels have these Nazis managed to um, secure? Metro kills the belief in miracles, but teaches you to live without hope. And still, I can't find any explanation for me being able to successfully negotiate the labyrinth of the Black Station. Full of Nazis, mind you. Short of a miracle. As if I was led by someone. What was my stupid, undying hope? Or perhaps fate itself? else can be done here then. I'm going to leave my gas mask on now. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to. Guess I haven't been this way then. Jeez, that looks safe. Hing ya. Pretty sure I saw somebody. Right, let's 
just keep that charged up. Would hate my MVGs to run out on me at the most in our inopportune time. Don't mean to do that. Oh, I saw somebody back here. Oh. <laughs> Moving on then. Oh, these dark, creepy tunnels of foreboding. Oh, Jesus. Oh, here, here, climb in here and rest. Yeah, you hold on a second, son. Artyom likes to have a good look around before he goes ahead and does stuff. Artyom never knows what he might find. I'm talking to Artyom in the third person. Right. We'll reach Polis soon. Please, do. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. Something much worse. phenomenon yes but you know it's not any more evil than say fire it all depends on your point of view try to get a better understanding of things before you make your judgment let's move out now it's not safe here hmm. it's hard to describe my feelings at that moment exhausted yes we were joyful I had made it once I delivered Hunter's message, the rescue of my home station would be decided by those stronger and wiser than I. And my task would be over. We made it to the station at last. Hey, you at the rail car! Stop the engine! Do not move! Name yourselves! Jack the Ripper. Oh, we're Nazis. Come here to take your station. Oh <laughs> man, is that you? You're lucky Petrovich isn't here. He's not a man for jokes. Who's that with you? He's from the northern frontier. I'm escorting him from the black station. All right, come on through. Well, here we are. Police. We made it. Archim can set down his guns. He can call a vacation, maybe the blasted sands of Florida. Ah, safe at last. Our mission is over. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? Right, 
Anyway, it looks like the game is uh, doing a save for me, so I'm going to uh, have a break here. We've made it to police at last. There's probably going to be a little bit of uh, gabbing here, Welcome but to Captain Krasnov, uh, you've come a long way, young man. Yeah, where I exactly know. are you from? He's from the exhibition. Well, that's camp. Right. Anyway, so I've made it to the checkpoint. I'm probably catch up on what these guys are saying when I reload. Anyway, so we're not going to miss anything. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.